What do you mean there's no pizza party? Not for two weeks? Two weeks? Are you out of your mind? I was promised pizza and I want it now. And that's when I was like, get out of my house. And they were like, sir, this isn't your house. You're at HEB. And I was like, whatever, that doesn't matter. Hang on a second, some nerds handing me a note. I'll call you back. Dear employee, in an effort to improve the mental health of our employees, all staff will be required to participate in programs that put them face to face with their greatest fears in an effort to rid them of said fears. Our system has identified your fear and you will be required to spend a day with a group of the world's most advanced robots. This is outrageous. Everyone knows I hate robots. As an added benefit, employees who complete the program will be rewarded not only with a sense of confidence, but also with a complimentary pizza party. Corey, we gotta go, there's no time to lose. Oh, and this is the hook. And this is for pizza, woo! Oh, okay, it's all right, I'm okay. Okay, here we go, woo! Woo, yeah, pizza. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch, and I love the University of Texas so much that I would even face my deepest, darkest fears for UT. And for pizza, this is also for pizza. Okay, let's go see these robots. This is for you, pizza. So this week marked the 29th annual meeting of the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. And it was here in Austin, which gave robotics and AI researchers from far and wide the opportunity to see UT's robocentric research up close and, if you ask me, a little too personal. That includes creepy Segway robots that UT researchers are using to learn how robots can autonomously navigate the world. All sorts of technology was on display, including a Canadian program that plays poker almost as well as a pro, and search and rescue robots from, well, from that other university, you know, the one in College Station. But the real star of the show was UT's RoboCup world champion robot soccer team, if you can believe that. So in our, in our league, uh, each team has five robots on the field. Um, we uh, give them a chance to walk into position and figure out where they are. Um, then we put the, put the ball down and we say play and we kind of just let them go. By the way, if you ever want to convince me of the decline of American civilization, just mention robots and soccer in the same sentence. Anyway, the robots play the game on their own, which is terrifying and which makes this more of a test of programming prowess than engineering efficiency. As a matter of fact, all the robots in the league that Austin Villa competes in are all the same, except they have different programming and um, thought processes. The team even has a robotic coach. We actually use our coach to tell the robots where the ball is and, and help them figure out where they are based off of that information, um, but uh, humans can't, can't really give them um, any guidelines or anything. So in 2012, we uh, won, won uh, first place. Um, so that, was, that was very exciting. Uh, we generally do, do fairly well um, in RoboCup, and so uh, it's, a, it's a fun team to be a part of. Now, of course, I always want to see UT beat the batteries out of the competition. So Coach Bot, also known as Gouda Daniels, by the way, he let me give the team a little pep talk and get them psyched about the big game. It's not gonna be easy out there today. Remember what this is for. This is for Texas. This is your moment. Let's take it and never forget the eyes of Texas are upon you. And then they put that inspiration to good use. Okay, so they lost that game, but I'm pretty sure they won the series and I'm pretty sure that though I'll never trust these inorganic killing machines, I might just learn to live with them. If you wanna learn more about robots for some weird reason, there's a link in the description down below along with three UT news stories. 
You can find out what Hammer and Hank Aaron had to say when he visited campus. You can see how the search for UT's next president is going and how that search works. And you can see our All Call Day interactive feature all about the robots here on the 40 acres. Of course, subscribe to The Hook if you want to see more episodes like this. We got a button here on our website. We got a button down there on YouTube. And you should check out the Texas X's and the All Call Day and all your favorite social media outlets. They are not run by bots. They're run by people who care, just like me. And I'm Andrew Roush. So until next time, stay hooked. Oh, sorry, Corey. I gotta take this. I think this is about the pizza party. Hello? What do you mean there's no pizza party? Not for two weeks? Two weeks? Hey!